Hello, thank you for clicking on my video. I did not film a proper intro for this, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what my living room area looked like before I started rearranging and building things. Um, just so you have a grasp of the before so you can compare it to the after. The first thing I'm going to put together is the like, because this is how the apartment, well, apartment, this is how the townhouse looks with just natural lighting and like the lighting in the kitchen and like without the lighting in the kitchen honestly it's like kind of dark in here like i feel like it looks better on my phone but like it looks so dark um in here so the first thing i'm going to do is put together um a little light that i'm going to put in the corner by the window in the front okay yeah let's let's get to it as I mentioned before, there's no ceiling light in the living room, so I bought this floor lamp from Target, and it's their Room Essentials brand. It came together pretty easily, and it light lit up the room um, well enough for my liking. Next, I moved on to my desk chair. I got this from Walmart, and I think it's just called a desk chair, I think. Um, it was like $45, and honestly, I thought it would be super easy to put this chair together because this is not my first rodeo putting together a computer desk chair. However, like everything was going smoothly, and then when I got to putting the arms like attaching them to the uh, like the what is this called like i guess the back and the seat the way that the fabric was it was covering the holes for the screws and i kind of had to like push the fabric so that i could screw the screws in and then some of the the um holes for the screws were stripped so it wasn't turning properly in the hole and it was just such a headache this chair took me way too long to make but yeah moving on we are getting into the meat of this and we're starting working on the actual desk so i bought this desk from flexi spot it's their e5 standing desk and setting this up wasn't difficult but there were some parts where the instructions could have been clearer and i soon realized that i wouldn't be able to fully finish this without power tools so i had to run to home depot and luckily they were having a sale so i was able to get a drill for like really cheap and well i didn't end up keeping it because when will i ever need a drill again but it was convenient. <laughs> Thank you. 
I finally finished putting the desk together. Now I need to turn it over and then I guess do something with the cable management. They give you these like zip ties, but they also let me stick onto the table. So I kind of just want to turn it over and see what it looks like first. And then It was A. It's connecting this to this. And everything's attached to this. What happening is Goes up to like 51. That's crazy. I don't know what the N, I know the 1 and 2 and 3 are presets, but I'm not sure what the N and the A are for. And they said, why get a standing desk? I don't get the idea of a standing desk. Imagine, this is so cool. For some reason, I thought it was gonna expand the other way, but I forgot I got the inverted version. Cause I was about to say, girl, did you fuck that shit up? But I did it, but I did it. <laughs>
So I put this wire cubing show in front of the desk because I wanted something to be like a wall behind my monitors. The top section has my books and a drawer organizer. The middle section has like a little photo booth and a thermal printer. Um, and then the bottom section is like my miscellaneous storage. And then there's another shelf next to it with a printer, more storage, and my Cricut cutting machine. So I set up my desk with all my peripherals. I have my two monitors side by side. One is on a little crate because it's shorter. I have my Logitech keyboard and mouse and I also have some Logitech headphones. I have on speakers from Walmart and I have my Nintendo Switch. Behind my desk I have a rolling storage container and next to my keyboard I have my MacBook Pro and my iPad. I have a lamp and a little pencil organizer on the side of my speakers. Um, under the desk I did not cable manage so the cables are kind of everywhere but I feel like that's something that I can take care of later. My computer still does not have a glass panel after I broke it. My PC is sitting on top of an uh, extra piece from the storage that my printer and my Cricut are on. The end. If you like this video, please like and leave a comment and subscribe. See you next time.